Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about few shortcut tricks to solve genetics and the problems of genetics because most of the students they are scared of the genetics numericals. So in this video we are going to make it easy. I put a question for you. Can you tell me what will be the number of gametes formed by the genotype capital A small a capital B small b capital C small c capital D capital D capital E small e capital F capital F. You just need to find out the number of gametes from this genotype. You are confused? Don't worry, I will help you out. Hello students, welcome to Adda Biology. This is Sunil Kumar, your biology faculty. Students, in this video we are going to discuss a very important topic with respect to your NEET exam. So, let's get started. Friends, let's understand the shortcut tricks, how you can solve the genetics in very easiest way. Now the questions that can be asked in the NEET exam can be with respect to number of genotype or gametes. But before I start the video, one request, watch the video till the end, then only give your comments. Don't comment just looking at half of the video. Okay friends, so let's start the session. Now, first question that is always asked with respect to genetics is like number of phenotypes. I give you a very simple formula to find out the number of phenotype, it says 2 raised to n. For example, if we have a monohybrid cross. Now, when I talk about monohybrid cross, it is 2 raised to 1 because n is nothing but the number of cross. So, that is nothing but 3 raised to 1 that becomes your monohybrid cross. If I say dihybrid cross, so for dihybrid cross, it will be 2 raised to 2. So, it becomes what? 2 into 2, that is 4. So, we have 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. These are the 4 you can say phenotypes. But when I talk about trihybrid cross, now it is 2 to the power 3 so the answer that comes will be 8 so it will be 27 is to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 it's like 27 3 times 9 3 times 3 and 1 time 1 so this becomes very easy to find out the number of phenotypes just remember the formula 2 to the power n when we have to ask a question like with respect to number of genotype just write the formula 3 to the power n for monohybrid cross, now n is nothing but the number of cross. When I say monohybrid, so it is 1. So 3 to the power 1, that is 3. The ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. It's very simple. When I talk about dihybrid cross, it will be 3 to the power 2. So it becomes 9. So what will be the answer here? 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. So remember the number 122, 412, 1 to 1. Then we have the trihybrid cross. For trihybrid cross, we put the number as 3 raised to 3, that is 27. Now, can you write the genotype of trihybrid cross? Just write it in the comment section. I will be happy to know it. Now, next concept is with respect to the number of gametes that is formed. See, students, whenever we are talking about number of gametes, it is no doubt 2 raised to n, but n is number of hybrids. Just remember, when I say monohybrid, it will be 2 to the power 1, that is 2. For example, capital T, small t is a hybrid. It's a single hybrid, so you will get 2 gamut. But if I write capital T, capital T, capital A, small a, capital B, capital B, here we have only one hybrid, that is capital A, small a. Still, the gamut will be only 2 because it depends on the number of hybrids. For example, if I write capital A, small a, capital B, small b, here there is 2 hybrids, so 2 to the power 2, so you get 4 gametes. If I write capital A, small a, capital B, small b, capital C, small c, capital D, small d, you get 4 hybrids, so 2 to the power 4. And when I talk about 2 to the power 4, you have 16 different types of gametes formed. This is how you can solve any problem. Let's take it in this way, capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital C, small c, and capital D, small d. Here you are having only 2 hybrids, so number of gametes will be 2 to the power 2, that is nothing but the Four. What we need to understand, just look at the number of hybrids, not the number of alphabets that are present. Very important to be taken care of. Now, next is with respect to number of Punnett square. Whenever you draw Mendel's box F2 generation, you always write with the help of Punnett square or checkers board. So, what will be the number of Punnett square? So, I write just monohybrid. The formula is 4 raised to n. Now, when I say monohybrid cross, so it becomes 4 to the power n, that is nothing but 4. So, monohybrid cross is going to have only 4 box of checkers board. When I talk about dihybrid cross, so di means 2. 
so when we go for dihybrid cross the ratio will be 4 to the power 2 that will be 16 you have 16 box so you can easily now predict what will be trihybrid cross right it is 4 to the power 3 that is nothing but 64 students so it's very easy if you know the formula now we need to understand the ratios how you can learn by of post mendelian genetics because post mendelian genetics ratios are not same like mendel because for mendel monohybrid was 3 is to 1 but in post mendelian genetics it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 we need to find out the ratio if there is a single hybrid capital a small a or you have capital a small a capital b small b or you have three hybrids or you have four hybrids how can you remember the ratio that is what the entire video is all about the most important part of the video is going to start now so if we say capital first hybrid you told the ratio one is to two is to one then second hybrid third hybrid four hybrid how to remember so in order to learn these two ratios of two hybrid or the ratios of three hybrids or the ratio of four hybrid genotype what we are going to do we are going to draw a very simple triangle now this triangle we all have studied in maths also i call this triangle as a magic triangle and if you find it interesting students don't forget to give a like to the video because this is a very simplest way by which you can remember the ratio of n numbers of hybrids provided you know how to write the magic triangle we write one write one one at both the ends so you get one one plus one that is two one again one plus two will be three two plus one is three and one at the end again write one three plus one four three plus three six three plus one four and then one again write one one plus four five then ten six plus four is ten four one plus five again write one then again down write one again one plus five six then fifteen ten plus ten is twenty then 15 and 6 and then 1 again write 1 so 1 plus 6 will give you 7 6 plus 15 is 21 then 35 then 35 then 21 and then 7 and then again 1 again write 1 1 plus 7 is 8 7 plus 21 is 28 21 plus 35 is 56 35 plus 35 is 70 then again you get 56 then again you add you get 28 then 8 and then 1 this is how you can draw your complete triangle students now what we need to understand here after drawing this triangle we need to eliminate all the odd levels all the odd levels including one so we need to focus only on the even numbers basically so eliminate the odd like for example when we talk about the first one just eliminate this then leave the second one eliminate the third one then leave the fourth one eliminate the fifth one so the one which i am circling has to be eliminated these numbers you are not going to count and then we have the fifth one to be eliminated so let me just put a separate color to it so that it's very, it becomes easy for you to understand that these levels have been eliminated. Now the numbers which are remaining, those numbers are actually the ratios based on the hybrids. So let's understand students. When we talk about the post Mendelian genetics monohybrid ratio, so it becomes 1 is to 2 is to 1 phenotypic ratio. And when it is based on the two hybrids, where two characters are taken care of, polygenic you can say it is 1 4 6 4 1 and if it is 3 gametes so what will be the phenotypic ratio it will be 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1 that is for 3 hybrid and if there are 4 hybrids present the ratio is 1 is to 8 is to 28 is to 56 is to 70 is to 56 is to 28 is to 8 is to 1 so it's very easy you don't have to learn you don't have to mug up you just have to draw this magic triangle so that you can easily solve and write the ratios hope students you would have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed it don't forget to give a like if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe this is sunil sir saying goodbye to you thank you very much friends